Okay, good morning, bold breeze. Welcome to uh, a Monday morning vlog. Uh, hopefully, just to catch up with you, tell you a little bit what's happening. Uh, if it goes well, probably do this um, every week, a Monday morning catch up. Oh yeah, let's let's have a quick chat about the channel. It's doing really well. The amount of traffic that we're getting is is fantastic. Fifty thousand views in the last twenty eight days. We're just short of 800 subscribers. Uh, just need a last push to get over to that 1,000. Hopefully, fingers crossed, should have a set of bowls to give away um, as a prize. So when we get to 1,000 subscribers, uh, I'll make another video, ask for comments, and everyone that comments will go into the prize draw, get a set of bowls, which is nice. Everyone likes a freebie. Um, so the, my plans for the channel really, um, I've probably got another 20, 30, 40 uh, videos I can put on. Um, I found some absolute gold last night, some Super Bowl footage that I didn't realise I had. Um, so I'm, I'm just having a play with that at the minute, see what the quality is like. Um, it's one of my, my concerns that the video footage isn't great. Um, got to remember that these videos are you know 30 odd years old and even finding the equipment to play them on is getting tricky um some of these tapes need t a bit of tlc and and it's hard to get them to any any watchable quality i've probably got five tapes uh with three hours of footage on each that's just totally unwatchable um which is a real real shame because i think you'd, you'd love some of it of course i've got Noel Burrows, who's going to lend me the uh, crown jewels, if you will, of Bowles videos. The footage of when he won the Super Bowl against David Bryant back in the 80s. Um, he messaged me earlier in the lockdown saying that he would post them up to me. And then he had second thoughts and didn't want to lose them. So he's hoping that when lockdown eases a little bit, he'll be able to get up with them and... Uh, He'll probably stay overnight while I'm doing it, knowing no. Uh, I know that they're so precious to him, and uh, I'd be absolutely made up um, if he brings them and lets me, lets me copy them and put them on on the channel, because I know there's so many people out there who'd love to see it, um, and, and I would too. I mean, I, I only saw it at the time, and uh, it's a, a distant memory for me, but I know for Noel it's, uh, you know, it's one of his massive biggest achievements uh, that anyone in the game's ever done really so uh, thanks to Noel for that. Uh, so anyway thought I'd try a different location today get away from the Mac uh, and you're in the man cave so um, <laughs> I don't want to show you too much because you'll think I'm a right freak but <laughs> uh, you see a bit of Burnley stuff there Super Bowl sign top behind me wedding photo that sort of thing and my hundred and odd pairs of trainers that um but i had a guy get in touch uh regarding measuring <laughs> which is <laughs> which i think I've, I've i've said before in various commentaries that measuring i mean it should be so straightforward but yeah it, it, they make it look like they're running a london marathon when they're doing it uh it ain't difficult and if you close your eyes now and picture the Waterloo, you and somebody calls for measures. All you can see are two blokes in blazers and flat caps walking across, stiff leg bend over, even though they're only measuring, you know, two balls a foot off. It still needs two of them to get down there. And this, oh, and, and you can see plums and oh, let's not go there. Measuring's become a bit of a dodgy area in the game. Um. I've seen so many, I don't want to use the word, but I'm going to have to, cheating, and, and people do cheat at measuring, and simple cheats like saying they're touching the ball when they're not, and I don't get it, I really don't get it, you know, at least be creative if you're going to try and rob me out of a chalk, you know, wrap the, wrap the tape around your finger or something. But don't just tell me you're touching when you're not, because I've got eyes I can see. Um, 
and things like leaving your thumb on on the the measure the measuring box and it just comes in a little bit after you've measured you know and it all stinks to me um and there's a lot of people out there do it you see you see now you walk on the green to measure oh measure mine first measure mine first because there's this perceived um advantage from from measuring first and and there shouldn't be any advantage measuring first or second um and for me the simple solution is for anything less than a yard you use those telescopic measures that look like a car aerial you just cannot go wrong with them uh they're, they're brilliant I've, I've got a set um and you can measure yourself on your own you can feel the, the jack and the ball with either end and there's no there's no room for cheating there's no room for error and you don't need two blokes doing it you don't need you know with jittery hands and all the rest of it the players can do it. it it's so straightforward of course over a meter it's a bit different and you know really you, you don't get a lot of tight measures um over the meter um but you still get these problems with, with the measure i've only got a very old set of measures these are from the 1940s but it's exactly the same principle there's a little button and you press it and you pull the end out and that's the problem the mechanisms on them i mean this is this is 80 years old nearly but get a new set you can do exactly the same no good i've got a set of these so it's bitter i used to love these these are fantastic and all you do you put your thumb on and you know they're not bad they're not bad i can work with them but they're a lot easier to cheat with of course so measuring don't like it grey area too much messing about going on they brought out some new measures now with bits of plastic on them. if you use them properly yeah fantastic they work work great um what if you don't use them properly i know there's some um laser laser um measures that again are supposed to be good but you need something to stand in front of the ball so there's a flat surface otherwise the laser goes off at an angle is it really that difficult we've just seen um to my knowledge the first ever set of books uh from the waterloo which hasn't made particularly good reading for anyone who has any love for the venue for the green for the stadium um and it's heartbreaking really um going through these videos that i'm putting on you go back to the mid 80s and the stadium's absolutely ram full and, and there's a, there was an atmosphere that everything was clean everything was was right you had green or whitley's looking after it and, and i don't think people realize how much money they actually spent on the waterloo uh the north stand the cantilever stand um was one hundred and fifty thousand pounds back in the day to build uh i think it was 83 something like that 83 84 and now now that would cost about half a million pounds to build just, you know just think about it half a million pounds spent on the waterloo um and i don't know what the answer is you know people are asking me what do you think should happen and and it's a heart and head thing for me my heart tells me we should do everything we possibly can to save it but apart from a multi-million pound sugar daddy we're not going to raise the revenue to do the work that needs doing before we can even play on the green you know the, the stands that are left are in a terrible state um they need demolishing really and starting again but that's just an amazing cost and even to repair them uh you're talking staggering sums of money and the question i have is can the game generate the revenue that the, the place needs just to run you know it's had years of i won't say neglect or i won't say bad management because that just lack of investment you know when i remember when jimmy park had it there were lots of rubbish on the internet about how much money he was making from the place and they were just saying oh he's earning hundreds of thousands huh? the place can't generate that level of, of, of revenue so at best i think jimmy was scraping a living um at worst it was probably 
probably backing the players with his own money. Um, and I'm sure the truth lies somewhere in between. So, if he was a businessman, you wouldn't put any more money into the place. If you were a bowler, you'd do everything you can to save it. Um, it's a worry because, you know, I won't say the game's gone if the Waterloo goes, because I don't believe that. I, I think it will be an incredibly sad day if the Waterloo went. Um, but when the BCGBA are adamant they're going to take the Champa Champs to Eaton Park, all that leaves is the Waterloo, the main Waterloo competition as the main earner for the venue and you ain't getting 3,000 there anymore you know just just do a fag, back of the fag packet calculation maybe there's 1,500 go maybe on average they spend all right they spend 20 quid 1,500 20 quid might spend another 10 when they're there it's not a lot of money and that is the that is the main event they've got to make the money from to pay for the rent for the rest of the year. So sad sad times. Hopefully, um, the management team that are involved now with uh, Ricky Cochran and Gary Ellis and a few others um, can find a way through this because you know it used to make your hair standing up on the back of your your neck when uh, when you used to walk in there. It doesn't have the same effect now unfortunately but um, for me it's a place that's worth saving whether we can do it or not is another matter I know that financially I I can't give a lot of help uh, but I've certainly volunteered if there's any work needs doing there I'm, I'm there um, as soon as you know we're allowed to travel about again um, I can use a paintbrush I can use a drill I can just about use a saw so uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up there um, and I'll go away and edit this together. Big thanks again to Chris, e Chris Easton for all the help he's done with the, the various uh, graphics and things. I hope you I hope you like in the channel. Uh, I'd love some feedback. Um, I'll put the email up again. Um, so you can get me there. You can get me on Facebook. You can get me uh, on YouTube. Leave a comment. I always get that. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the button. Ring the bell if you want notifications and you will get um, a little email every time there's a new video comes up. Um, there will be uh, a lot of things coming up. I'll put a, a little uh, picture up to show you the timetable. I think today there's a, a Waterloo going up. There's a lot of Waterloo coming up. A lot of Waterloo because that's uh, what I've got at the minute. Um, there is some ladies stuff. People have been asking me for ladies people don't seem to watch it unfortunately but i am an equal opportunity sort of a channel so there will be ladies stuff on there as well uh so thanks for watching feedback will be great keep subscribing keep watching uh stay at home stay safe and i'll see you on the other side thanks for watching